Okay, hello everyone. Okay, so this morning we are going to check my stream setup. I don't know how it will go, but okay, we'll see. So let's check this and we'll see how it goes. So first thing first, I will just post a, a small tweet. Just to bring some people here. So maybe I can share this also. So let's go for this. Yeah. Let's put this here and let's put the face of the guy. Hello. Okay, so let's post a small tweet. Hey. Let me put the link of the Twitch. Where is the Twitch again? Here it is. Twitch.tv Yes, this is it. Okay, that's cool. So, first thing first, I wanted to check the, the stream setup. So let's see how it goes. Right. Okay, so my, my connection is not so good today, so I removed the camera, but we can, uh, we can have the sound and the, and the desktop. Okay, so this is done. What I wanted to do was uh, to check maybe some cloud resources while I was testing the stream setup. So um, yesterday so my, my I connection is not the, so good. Okay, sorry, that was the feedback. <laughs> okay, so yesterday I posted a tweet about um, some links that I found useful when starting with, uh, with cloud. So maybe we can check those um, just to, to give you an overview of, uh, of what's, what you can do when you start with AWS. 
So all these links were here on my Twitter. So a lot of people like them. So I guess we can have a look. So for, for example, this first one, uh, workshops.aws.com. Very useful one because in this case, it's not about courses. It's about uh, finding some ways to, to get some experience and to get some hands-on. So um, you, you'll see that you have um, a lot of different um, use cases and uh, this is very useful um, if you already watch some courses and you want to start. Let's say you want your, to, get, to get your hands dirty and just want to start building things. So yeah, there are a lot of topics as you can see in the top here. Um, you have some .NET workshops, some .NET Core, some machine learning, some AMI for virtual machines. You have some APIs, Cloud9, which is the, um, the developer tool to develop in the cloud. Uh, about cloud trail, so this is about monitoring, game tech. Oh, this one feels interesting because I'm I'm not really aware of what's uh, available for in AWS for for game technology. So um, yeah, we might have a look uh, later at this. Glue is for big data data ingestion. Let's say AWS Greengrass is for IoT IoT, so Internet of Things. You have Internet of Things. Oh, sorry, it's for machine learning at uh, at the edge. Sorry, I saw the Internet of Things uh, thing, and so yeah, I, I confused. <laughs> um, IoT Core, Green Grass. Okay, so you have a lot of services here, and you can search. So, for example, if I want to workshop about about S3, I can type in S3, and I have a lot of uh, workshops about S3. Um, and they are classified with a, a level, some the categories, some tags, and you even have how much time uh, this will need to be completed. So for example, this one in one hour you can do it. Uh, here you are going to learn about S3 Select. So you have some files in S3, some data, and you can query uh, the data without using any server or any other kind of database other than S3. So that's really interesting. So for example, if I get started, I will get redirected to the workshop studio. And in here, I will have all the information to perform the workshop with a quick start, build from source, etc. So yeah. Okay, less than 30 minutes. It was one hour, but I think one hour is the less that you can have. So yeah, that's interesting. Uh, just let me have a look. Yeah, so first you have the CV architecture, API gateway to be able to call the S3 select request. Then you have an, an AWS Lambda that will launch the S3 select and the S3 select will be performed. On the, on the S3. So yeah, kind of interesting. Um, so each time you have the, a brief description. So you have, for example, here you see, you will have a, um, a sample data file with some uh, information in it. So let's have a look. Okay, you see some people information with name, phone number, city, occupation. And we are going to request this through S3. So that means that we will upload this file to S3 and then using just S3 select we will be able to get some information from within the file. So if you want some details you have some links to the S3 documentation, the S3 select, etc. Each, each component that you will use in the, um, in the workshop will be uh, linked here and then you do next and uh, you have the quick start so usually you will have a, a cloud formation template to deploy on your account and uh, that's pretty useful because um, um, 
you will be able to deploy in no time in your account and uh, um, you will be sure to have the exact same configuration as in the workshop documentation. So that's pretty interesting. Um, for those who don't know, um, CloudFormation is a way to describe your infrastructure. It's uh, something called infrastructure as code. And uh, that means that you write a file and then uh, each time you deploy this file, you are sure to, to have the same configuration and the same component added to uh, your AWS account. So infrastructure as code is very interesting, um, very reliable, and uh, because it's avoid you to make some human errors when you deploy your infrastructure. So it's great to have this in the workshop because you don't have to deploy everything uh, manually. Okay, so you do next, and here you have some setup. So you need to have uh, an AWS account, or you have the link to the, um, to create one. I don't know. Let's let's have a look. I think this is the documentation to create a new account. Just the AWS documentation, the classic one. Yeah. Ah, oh no, okay, it's directly redirecting to the sign in. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is it? Okay, so you create the packet, you upload the sample. You have some package code for the Lambda, and then you create the Lambda using the cloud formation. So you should prepare, let's say, something like put the code at the right place, and once this is done, uh, you will be able to launch the CloudFormation template and it will take automatically the code from there and deploy the Lambda, the API Gateway, etc. And um, here you have uh, a yeah, parameter to say where is your bucket uh, yes, and where is the file and how it's called. Okay, so you can create the stack, etc. Okay, and then after that you have uh, the way to, to call your API. So you will have your API endpoint like that and uh, using a curl or any tool like Postman, you can curl, you can request this API and uh, you will have the, the answer. So pretty simple and that's it, that's the workshop. It's You see it's very simple but um, I mean at least uh, you have some experience like this you will see it on uh, during tutorials and during courses that's fine but with this workshop you will do it yourself and it's not the same thing okay so yeah that's pretty interesting and at the end uh, um, you did the workshop but you can of course have a look at the code uh, you can dive deeper let's say into into this and uh, the next step and the last step, yeah, it's the cleanup. So you can clean every resources. It will explain you what you created and what you can delete in, uh, in your AWS account. And you see here we have the Python code and the Python, the TypeScript code. So this is for the Lambda. Um, yeah, so here, Ah, no, it's to deploy using the CDK. Okay. Okay, so it's to build uh, the CloudFormation template from the CDK. Okay, that's another way to do it. So this is one workshop. You see uh, for us three, so I guess this is a pretty quick one. And uh, that's not a big deal to, to launch it, but... I mean, after that, you know how to do a nest tree select uh, using some API and Lambda to call it. So it's pretty, pretty interesting, I think. So let's, let's have another look. Let's have a look at other workshops. So for game tech, I, I don't know the, the AWS services, but I think it's pretty interesting. But Oh, okay. <laughs> this one is only in Japanese. 
I'm not able to speak Japanese, so I won't do it, but just to have a look. I think the, the structure will be the same, more or less. Yeah, you see, I'm not speaking, not even reading Japanese, but okay, you have some explanation at the beginning. Maybe we can have some diagram, architecture diagram. Yes, you see, we have a pretty complex architecture here with the Jenkins and so, and so, so some specific tools for game dev I guess for force I don't know what, it is, what this is but that's okay that's okay um, yeah so that's pretty interesting okay um So I think it's pretty good for the sound and the configuration. I'm not sure if I can add the camera. If I can, if I add the camera, I think uh, the quality will drop. Let's let's try. Let's see how it goes. I can check you. We have the camera. Yeah, we have the camera. There's a lot of light coming from my window, but that's okay. I think we will see a drop, but okay, never mind. We are here to, to try things, so let's let's try. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the quality is great, so I think I will remove the camera for now. Yeah, at least it's working, so it's okay, but uh, yeah, I will remove it because it's lagging a lot. Okay. Okay, okay, let me check something. Okay, we're back. So this is the first link. So you have all the workshops about S3, S3 game. I don't know what this is. Let's let's have a look, a quick look at this, and after we will have a look at the other links, which are also very interesting. So yeah, we'll see that. S3 game is a great way to learn something new about S3, check your knowledge and have fun. There are two games, S3 game Pirates, where you play as treasure hunter trying to find chests with treasures. Okay. S3 game Galaxy, where you play a galactic hunter searching for element S3, the most valuable substance in the universe. Okay. That's interesting. I really like the idea. So let's have a look. The latest version of AWS CLI. You're not able to use AWS GUI. Sorry, okay. Here's a page for AWS CLI GV2. I think I got the AWS CLI, so maybe we can have a look. 
I'm not very efficient at F3, but let's let's see if I if if we can do something. Um, I have my archers here. Pretty sure it will last for eight days. No, it did not. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> let's see. EWS. Oh, that's taking too long. That's not fighting me. AWS Colossian, maybe. No, okay. Let's have a look. Um, okay, let's let's check. AWS Realization. I'm a bit lazy, I, I assume. Not for one. Ah, dash dash version. Okay, I got it. AWS dash dash version. Okay, here we are. So we already have the V2. Yeah, so that's okay. Pretty good. Yeah, we will go with that. I will update later. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to update right now. But let's see what we can do here. to play. The S3 game consists of several levels. Each level requires learning an, H3, an S3 feature and applying that knowledge to access the next level. You can play alone or compete with other players. That could be a fun thing to do. If you're playing alone, the main goal is to reach the final level. So simple. Yeah, <laughs> probably. When you play competition, you need to collect points and check an overall score on your dashboard. Okay, that's nice. Just open the S3 game you like. Are you there? Yes. Try to realize what is needed to solve a puzzle. Read the hint. Advice the news. Learn the skill forward. Find a secret code. Okay, but how do we play again? First, open a competition link. Register a user. Okay, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. That's uh... okay. So it's really um... play on your own. S3 Galaxy S3 Ultimate. Okay. Okay, but how do I? How do I? What? <laughs> how to play? How do I start the game? I don't know. That's really interesting, but... Oh. Did I miss something? How, how do we play? I want to play the game, please. Pirate history game, okay. Play on your own. Yes, I want to play, but how? I don't know how. Play. Start from competition. 
first open a competition or okay so there might be a link somewhere I don't know where open this S3 game like okay pirate S3 game maybe it's Let's check this. Okay, we are there. Okay, a lot of game which are nice. We can really do that. I'll do really that. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? No. Yes, I want to play this game. Oh, okay, here it is. I will keep it somewhere because play cameras. Oh, that's one. What is play camera? I don't know. Top GL game in general. Okay. I don't I didn't know. I will clearly keep this travel somewhere, I guess. So it's not working so well. I don't know why. Maybe it's not working. Let's have a look. Oh wow! What is this? I'm pretty sure this is not the, the game. So it's pirate. Okay, that's not the game. <laughs> Too bad. Uh, honestly, I don't know what how this game. Just open the S3 game here. I don't know where this game is. Where is it? Maybe it's not finished. I don't know. S3 game from blah 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 blah. Can give me I had a link before. Is this the game? Pretty sure it's not. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Got it. Wow. Nice. That's not the game. But we finished the game. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool. The game Galaxy. This is Galaxy. That's not the one I wanted, but okay. Okay, let's put full light. What is? Custom light. Okay, no, I don't want it. Okay, submit. Using. Okay, I don't care. Okay. Anxiety from the street bucket. Can use Amazon S3 to check out the bucket. Use website and points. Check the URL in the browser. Now you can identify the bucket name, look inside that bucket and search for a secret file. Okay, let's let's try it. So we have this uh, this bucket, which is this one. Let's let's have a look. Where is my terminal? It's here. Okay. 
what do they do? Oh, sorry. And I need to put the material blocks. Because probably it's not in my range. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's three blue bars, so it's uh, yeah, it's fine. Let's go down to this. Okay, so secret one, I think very good. Okay, so I don't know if I can destroy even the units with three health. Can I do something like that? Yeah, good. Let's remove F3. Okay, let's remove it a bit bigger. I mean, can I read 30 bars? I'm not sure. Can I three without doing reading it? I'm not sure about that. Website, website. What is website? Maybe website is this thing. So let, let's have a look. It will be a slide. Let's see. Let's check the documentation. Have a look. Website. Yes. I want to check website. What is this for? Set the website configuration for a bucket. Okay, that's not what we want to do. So for that. So I guess it's probably an MLS. Okay, let's try this. Let's see. There we go. Come on, what's what can we do here? Ah, okay. Good. Yeah, okay. So AWS S3 PP. So okay, where are where are we? Okay, we just say Okay. Um, AWS S3 CP. Um, first. Let me bring my list again. Yes, this is the one. I guess. Okay, there it is. So AWS S3 CP. Secret. 
one more. And we do like that. What is this going to be? The secret coordinate is... Oh, great! That's working. So, you know it. That's new. Uh, you can... Print this using the dash. Okay. So I'll try to make this print. Select this. Copy and paste it somewhere. That's pretty useful. I didn't know that. I always copy my file and in the call or in some. So that's great. So go to here. Okay, so this is level two. So I didn't read the how how to print. Oops. So we found the secret. To find a secret code, okay. Paste the code to a URL leading to the next level. Oh okay. This is the so we put here, okay, and then we paste this here, and we have the code, so this is level 2. That's cool! On level 1, the bucket policy allows listing objects inside the bucket. Never, never need to that way, that was a really good reason, yeah, for sure. Okay, so I think this should be better now. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I just saw we have some people in the chat, so feel free to say hi. Hi, everyone. Um, what we are doing right now is to have a look at some workshop resources to learn about AWS. So yesterday I posted some resources on my Twitter and uh, we are checking the first one, workshops.aws. And what we are trying to do right now is to, I don't know, just to, to have a look at some of the workshops to give you an idea. And uh, so we had the first one with a really simple S3 select. And this one is a pretty interesting one uh, because it's just a, it's, it's a game. So basically uh, you, have some, uh, you have some S3 buckets with uh, some files in it. And uh, the game is making you search for some S3 commands using the AWS CLI. And uh, you have to find a secret file in each uh, S3. So that's pretty interesting. So if you want to, to play the game, I can give you the link. This is the link to the level one. So let me put that in the chat. Where is the chat again? Here it is. So this is the link to the game. You have another game, so this one is the Galaxy, the S3 Galaxy game, I think. And there is also the S3 Pirates game. Uh, honestly, I didn't try it before, so I don't know what's the difference between both. But okay, maybe we can we can have a look later. At the, at the pirate one. So f feel free to drop any question in the chat. Um, I'll be happy to answer them. The, the goal today is to just chill about AWS, uh, discuss, have a look at the workshop and uh, to test my streaming setup. So feel free to give me any feedback if you, if you feel like you, you have something to say. Uh, I'll be very happy to to discuss. Okay, so let's have a look at the level two. On level one, bucket policy allows listing objects inside the bucket. 
yeah so it's basically a public s3 so you have access to all the s3 files that's what we we saw huh? this is the the s3 ls so when we do an s3 ls like that it will basically list all the all the files all the blobs into the string so yeah this goes back now and okay this is basically the, the website so. okay so now check the url in the browser address bar and find the bucket name next try to find secret to in the bucket okay so this is the bucket name as we saw before there is a specific structure for bucket name and let's have a look at this one so let's see uh, aws s3 ls like that i'm pretty sure that we won't have the right to get the files but maybe we can have right to do something like Bucket doesn't have a voice assigned, so you can't see a list of objects inside. But you can try using the object directly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what I thought in the first place. Let's have a look. So to reach directly the object, what we can do is something like that, like secret two. Oh no, no, sorry. This is an ls. I don't want to do an ls. What I want to do is something like that, and uh, with the right bucket name. So do I have the right bucket name in the? Let's check. Yes. Okay, so let's have a look at secret. we doing secret two maybe yes you see so what I did is just access the file instead of trying to list the all the buckets okay so So in the meantime, hello everyone in the chat. I hope you you're having a great day. Uh, feel free to to say hi in the chat to ask questions about whatever you feel to, to ask, and I'll be happy to try to answer. So right now we are doing a, a game about uh, AWS, so the cloud platform and the goal is to find some secret files into some uh, file storage like uh, the, the, the s3 buckets so it's yeah it's pretty interesting and uh, it's uh, a workshop provided by aws so if you go um, here to uh, aws so to workshops.aws you will find this workshop and a lot of other ones to uh, to start your your learning journey about aws uh, i'll put this link also in the chat so you can uh, have a look there are a lot of other workshops about uh, any topics you see about api about machine learning about big data about iot about serverless, the functions, also about Alexa. Uh, where is it? Yeah, also Alexa, Active Directory. So it's really a, a big range of topics. Amazon Kime, CloudWatch, uh, Confluent. So it's really interesting to have a look at uh, what you want to check, like uh, what's your field and uh, what do you want to learn about, and uh, and just choose a workshop. So for now we, we choose the S3 workshop for, 
for this morning, but you can choose whatever workshop you want. Yeah. Uh, so level three, I hope you can easily guess the secret of the thing in the level three bucket. I guess this is the same. I guess it will be the same command. Make this level three. And there is something in there that is SCN again, SCN slash secret three. Let's check. Oh, nice. That's interesting. So, yes, this is probably... This is a... Yeah. This key will be replicated in schedule. Okay, so we need to get the key. This is some kind of token to be able to retrieve the... Okay, so let's check this. this is, oh yes, this is, a, um, this is a protected URL. So you have to use this to access the, the bucket. Oh, that's really interesting, in fact. We want to do a CP, so we'll copy to CP, here it is. So where can we put this? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's probably this one or this one. I don't know. Let's have a look. Specify the server side encryption with the object in this tree that is not in the element. Okay, a server side encryption will be the provided key in the object. Okay, no, 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 I think, yes, this is much, uh, oh, yeah, 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 this is not an encryption key, it's more like uh, some credential for the videos, I guess, yeah, so, okay, so, I know that you can uh, use this profile thing, so, we need to add this to the profile and use the profile, okay, let's check how we can do that, uh, okay, I'll check that off screen, but I, I'll be back. Let me check something first. Don't worry, uh, I'm still here. I'm just checking my credential file. 
just to check that nothing is in here. Here it is, and I have a lot here, so yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So let me check this. So, from what I think, I think this is an access key ID and a secret access key. So let's Let's see if it could work. So I will create a secret, secret game. Let's put a, I'm creating a profile name S3 game. And uh, I will show you after, but um, yeah. I'm putting an AWS underscore, sorry, underscore. ID equals whatever AWS secret access key equals whatever. Okay, I'm just creating. Am I able to say this? Fine, so now let's take this. So let's have a look. I will show you after, but I just don't want to share all my phone. Okay. Okay. Don't remember the command on VI to do at the previous time. You should check that sometime. Okay. Hmm. I see nothing. So it didn't work. Maybe the profile is not the right one. S3 game. Yeah, I see nothing. Hmm. That's interesting. AWS access key ID. 
any of the last secret access key and I put the right access key okay it's not working Pretty sure it's profile. This is special for profile and it's credential file. Yeah. Hmm. AWS S3 CMI Yes, I can put my credentials. Normally, usually in the profile, it should be okay. But maybe not. Maybe I've got some issues. Because I had a. Oh, did I miss that? I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's check this. Oh yes, 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 yes. Uh, what did I do? No, nothing okay. Region, we don't care. It's still not working. I don't know why, honestly. It should work. It should work. Or maybe this is a bigger mistake. It's working. AWS access key ID. AWS secret key. I, okay, um, I don't know. I'll have a look. I have a look. Uh, honestly, I'm pretty much using this. 
Um, okay. So we'll see that. Um, I'm going to have lunch and then maybe I'll be back after lunch. We'll see. We'll see that. So thank you for joining. If you join and if you're watching this afterward, feel free to join next time. Um, in the meantime, feel free to to reach out to me on Twitter. I, I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. And um, yeah, I mean, 